all right so yo and welcome back to tales of arc and if you're enjoying the video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below and but welcome back to destiny 2 the witch queen where she refused to become the taken queen which is a cool ass name like is there a limit for her can you not have the taken ability plus the light ability and your normal hive ability like, I guess she really needs the worm to do that, but she, I'm assuming she gave it up all because of that one comment got me thinking and that she, her core is the ghost and that's why the, but the ghost light rejects the darkness. That's why she can't have two ability, but imagine if she did, she'd be the wielder of dark and light. I mean, well, I mean, we could do that. Wouldn't she be able to do that? I don't know. So, also, I roll. I got knife barrage. That's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it, the witness. And it seems I might be the one responsible for Savathun's theft of the light. I won't lie. I anticipated that. Oh yeah, about did she know about After Osiris? I was the one who welcomed her into the tower, who gave her like, access to. If the she's close friends for Mo with Osiris, how did she not no. know? Humanity is at risk of losing the trap. Look, don't blame yourself too hard. If I truly am to blame here, I need to know before Savathun gets her claws anywhere near the traveler. Your friend Finch has been in touch with a new lead. I'm not so sure about this one, but right now we can't afford any hesitation. No, personally, connect with him in the throne world. Find the answers we need, no matter what it takes. If I know what she did was wrong, but we all know she was, she didn't know. How would anyone? This is like a god whose best skill set is cunning and trickery and scheming. So even if she did know, I mean, it's not what much she could have done, really. I mean, except for shoot her or she could Cyrus. But what's done is done. You shouldn't like, I don't know, worry about it too much. The milk is already spilt. Think of a way to try and counter her. Save the traveler. Save humanity. The Witch Queen. Ikora reckons with the uh, revelation that she may be partly responsible for Savathun's death of the light. But with the news that Savathun also intends to pull the traveler into her throne world and seal it away, there's no time to lose. She sends you to finish the follow up on another lead. Complete the cunning mission in the throne world. Red Herring. Our light is stronger than ever. God damn this stupid ass controller. Uh, do this. Cool. So before we progress, let's see if we have any leads. No, no leads. All right. So, what was it the cunning? Cunning? Hopefully, it's a good mission. Oh, oh shit! For a second, I thought I felt something in my neck. I was like, "Oh shit, is that a tick?" Nah. It's a little stringy thing attached to your shirt. Man, I'm hungry. I want some ramen. All right. Also, I forgot there's this comment I've been, for, been forgetting to read this entire time. I'm sorry, yo. From Deadfall 555. The Vanguard is, is in a way, has streamlined and assisted Garden in discovering. Did I read this already? No, I haven't. It's a new comment. Harnessing the powers through the classification of Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. While in the lore, there are seemingly boundless combinations that simply needs to be explored and mastered with light and even darkness. Which is why I said, the existence of warlords using their powers for their own personal gain over territory even first the theory that light and dark aren't just good or bad. I'm, yes, it's like a gun. Guns aren't all bad. It's how you use it that makes it either good or bad, really. That's why you need better gun control or better safe, what is it, gun safety. Don't you hate it when people are holding a gun and they're just like, like, 
whipping it around, pointing at people's faces like dumbasses. Come on. Uh, but how you use it? Light has been used for right and sometimes wrong reason. Iron Lord tamed those dark times and the Vanguard was created to continue the path of defending humanity. And not to rule over it with the gift of the Traveler bestow. And part of defending humanity was to gather and teach fresh race light bearers. All while building the walls that came to eventually beat the last city. Which is cool. But still. Well, oh no. What the hell was I going to say? I was going to say, were they not afraid of dying? But they weren't. Because the concept of them permanently dying didn't really like seep into them. Into like. I don't know. Wait. I forgot. Maybe I'm remem remembering it wrong. Weren't, they weren't afraid of dying, right? Because I'm thinking of the rise of iron, the cutscene. Because they knew they could come back. Guardians, the Scorn are on the move again, towing destruction along with them. Stop them in their tracks. No, what, what, what was it? I forgot. Did the Iron Lords have ghosts? I don't think they did, right? Because they could permanently die. No, but then Lord Salad said like, oh, we are high on like being in Mordo and all that. And we think we, we thought we could take the take on the world. But then we met the Siva fragments and then we, we got killed or some of us got permanently killed or Siva Fi. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Weasel. All right, so hopefully chaff. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, it's all the same. OK. All right, so before we got the weasel, what was I saying? I was saying something. I lost that trail. Maybe it was something about the Iron Lord being they were high on not being able to die permanently. Oh, well, but yeah, essentially it's like a school or mentorship, like how when you find a wondering wizard and it's like teach you. It's going to be big, big enough to crack this case wide open. Finch, a hunch is not enough. We need evidence, compelling evidence. Okay, how about a secret underground temple? Because I found one deep in the tunnels there. And guess who it's dedicated to? Eva? Savathun. Yeah, well, oh. of, it's dedicated to Sathona. Sabathun before she was a hive god. I mean, talk about compelling. Just imagine what's buried down there. Imagine? So you haven't seen this object? I didn't get eyes on it per se, but I know it's powerful. Enough to attract the whole mess of scorn. If this object is what you promise, then it'll be worth it. Stay alert, Guardian. We I core, really? This one. I didn't really like that comment she made. What what uh evidence or what lead do you have to go on right now? We're desperate. I don't know why you're judging. He says, oh, there could be something down there. And so far, he hasn't led us to in any goose chasing. Like, I mean, he helped us this much. I mean, we might as well take his word for it. I, I guess she just feels like that the blame is solely all in her, even though she shouldn't blame herself too much. Not much could have been done, really, in my opinion. But I guess that's her, how she's feeling a bit about it right now, which is understandable because if she was really Osiris' friend, how did she not know? Wouldn't she know his personality? Would he? Would she not be suspicious? Suddenly, he's all curious, interested in the light. Okay. This gun is so cool. I like the laser it makes. Um, and of course, it takes multiple shots to kill you. Damn, take that in the knee with Skyrim old, old days. Like, would she not know? It, it would have been like suspicious. She wouldn't. Oh, I also was so saying I rolled blade, barrage. Oh, yeah, rocking that right now. Even though it has that one thing of moving you forward. Okay. 
Okay, into the weird portal. The scorn are even more entrenched than the last time we were here. Oh yeah, the scorn have dug themselves in deep down here. Yeah, there's a comment I was gonna make. Also, this was a suspicious hole right here. Is this the right way? Not. Is this is secret. Triangle here. Oh, it's just a light. What's this? A portal? Huh. I guess that's like something that you have to do in the overworld. And not really in a mission. This gun is so cool. Huh, this pressure reminds me of that one Halo level. Okay. What was I going to say? Jesus, I can't remember. And there's also no comments to read because, like, you guys are only on episode 13, which was, like, before the Whisper mission. So all I can do is just throw predictions out there. Okay, you guys all. Why do you have to turn your head? Guess I just got shooting. Pray to God. All right, all right. Okay, calm down. Now I'm not out of ammo. Yo, I will pity super you if I have to. I'm not afraid to do it. I have no shame. Nope. Alright, where's your friend? This dude. I don't want to get stabbed in the back. Oh, why, why, why am I shooting? It doesn't matter. Okay, now it matters! Now it matters! Uh, I shoot you and... Okay, I can. Damn, how I miss every single shot. This is why I don't use Sniper. I'm so bad at it. That's why people, when, when I used to do... A Trial of Osiris. I used to do Trial of Osiris in Destiny 1. And I was there like, oh, you see Icebreaker, just snipe. I, I can't snipe for shit. That's why you guys carry. I'm the idiot during the shotgun meta phase when we were like two, when it was like, I believe, 2v1, uh, I believe, because both of his partner was dead. I was the warlock on the team, and I was camping a another. No. No, and that wasn't it. I was the warlock on the team, and I think they were chasing because they had two members. They were chasing another another member. I got a shotgun, and then I told my team literally, "Hold up, hold up! I got this! I got this!" I self res, and then the dude shotgun me and meleeed me, and I died. And I was like. Okay, and then my two friends laughed at me. They were like, what the hell were you expecting? He had a shotgun. He is point blank range. And I'm like, I, I, I thought I, th I thought I'll live it. You know, I want to be cool for that moment. No, I wasn't. All right, you probably want this. Oh, I can super him now if I wanted to.
So yeah, I was that idiot who self res and then get shotgun. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna talk about, Sathona. So Savathun built a mausoleum for her younger self, then abandoned it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Um, embarrassment? Who isn't a little ashamed of their past? It's probably a reminder, right? It's probably like the type of thing where this is where I used to be, but look at where I am now. I'm an all-powerful being. When I used to be a lowly hive and had no power and had nothing. I was literally at the whims of the worm god, but look at what I have become. Look how much I have be look how much have I become. Look how much powerful I have been and look what I'm about to become. And what I what great things I'm about to do. When they look at me then, they thought, "Oh, it'll be Get nothing. In. I'll be but nothing." There's an illusion here with Sabathun's signature. And that I won't be so, She didn't leave this area totally unprotected. Why didn't she return to upgrade her defenses with the light? Why haven't the Lucent Hive come to confront the Scorn? Oh, maybe it's bait. Maybe she's luring the Scorn in so she can convert them. Use them against the Witness. I highly doubt Savathun would gamble her throne world for the sake of a few Scorn Brigades. No. Savathun and the Witness are fighting a turf war. You don't cede ground unless you're losing. And yeah, it's just like a reminder. But after getting this far, she kind of forgot about it. Like, she had, I have bigger things to do, or I can use this as a strategic point of conquest. Like, gather all my enemies here. It's only three. So maybe it's like five again. Oh, last one. Oh, did I? I have to redo it. Oh, it was right there. It's so dumb. Oh no, maybe is it random every time? No, maybe not. There we go. I got it. There we go. Of course, it'll be under you where you least expect it. But yeah, probably like a reminder thing. That's what I feel like where it's like where she was before, but now what she has become, what she has risen to an all powerful being. And her ambition is so great and she, she feels no shame. It's like a sense of pride in herself. I forgot no map no map oh that was a headshot wow all right bro all right where's I thought I saw a bomber somewhere Sorry, bro. Yep. So that's the temple Sabathun dedicated to herself. It's huge. That's quite a sight, isn't it? Can't accuse Sabathun of being too. Which is <laughs> funny compared to Oryx, little small dinky temple. Bro, this looks like a Dark Soul map. This is so cool. Imagine if there was a Dark Soul mechanic in one of the new areas or something. That would be sick. Where you got to gather materials and then if you die, you lose it all while exploring that map. And you need it to buy stuff. What? What? 
Do, do I just jump down? No. I feel like this isn't the right way. Am I stuck? I mess up. Maybe, maybe you do jump down. 